Releasing on August 15th is Agents of Mayhem from the creators of Saints Row. Pre-order at the affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And today we're taking a bit of a departure from talking about movies exclusively because sometimes TV is just more interesting than movies. And given the fact that TV has become so prominent in a few areas, especially with like Netflix and their series, it's always fun to talk about some of the stuff going on on the small screen versus just the silver screen. And I really wanted to talk about this. I really wanted to talk about how this is a horrible idea. Yep, you're reading it right on the screen, folks. The Monster is rebooted in development at NBC with Seth Meyers producing. Now, the only thing I like about that is Seth Meyers producing. I love Seth Meyers. That dude is funny. I think he's witty. I think he's got a good talent around him. I love watching his show. I, but, uh, but the Munsters. We don't need another Munsters. Uh, so a reboot of the classic sitcom The Munsters as it works at ABC, Variety has confirmed. The planned reboot is inspired by the original series and will follow an offbeat family determined to stay true to themselves struggle to fit in in hipster brooklyn right there hipster brooklyn kill me kill me now put a gun in my head cock the hammer pull the trigger end my life this is ridiculous except it could also not be it could also be funnier because hipster brooklyn williamsburg brooklyn it's it very much mocked uh it was heavily mocked on CBS's Two Broke Girls, and a number of other shows have made fun of it too. Uh, HBO's Girls is definitely one of the shows that take, took place in, in Williamsburg and kind of like showcased the the kind of like upper middle class white hipster that was living there off their parents' trust fund. Uh, that sort of angle, that was big thing popped up. And this is the latest attempt to reboot the series. In 2012, Brian Fuller produced a pilot called Mockingbird Lane with Jerry O'Connell as Herman, Portia de Rossi as Lily, and Eddie Azard as Grandpa. It was aired on Halloween as a special on NBC with the network ultimately deciding not to order it to series. And here you can see uh, what the cast looks like that's different. You've got, uh, you know, uh, Grandpa Munster, Jerry O'Connor as Herman Munster. I mean, it was a more contemporary take on it. Little Eddie Munster down here. You know, I mean, it, it just it it. It was an okay. Here's the thing with this with this particular show. Uh, Brian Singer directed the pilot. NBC had spent eight million dollars on the pilot, which was a lot for a pilot. And uh, it just they looked at it at the time and they thought to themselves, "This is not what we want to do." And it, it's kind of funny when you look at like Brian Fuller created shows, uh, Hannibal. Uh, pushing daisies, Mockingbird Lane. They sometimes they last, sometimes they don't. You know, he also was a showrunner on Star Trek Discovery for a little while until he had a you know butting heads with the powers that be, and he basically was removed from the project. Uh, and so I'm glad that Seth Meyers is producing this. I I love the original Monsters. I do. I think it's a great show. It's one of the things I grew up watching on Nick at Night. Uh, you know, I was so excited when I was a kid because I didn't have cable TV, but when I'd go visit my father, he had cable TV, he had Nick at Night, Monsters Mondays, I was all down for like six hours of Monsters and shit, so I was very happy to do that way back in the day, and I think it's a very funny classic uh, show, and, and, and then they tried to modernize it with this look right here, I think they moved it to Los Angeles, and it just was like, really kind of, it just didn't really flow, and now they want to move it to Hipster Williamsburg in Brooklyn. It could work, but again, is again there was more of a serious take, a serious tone with the Mockingbird Lane reboot, and whereas the Monsters was more of like a, a of a sitcom uh, back in the day. And I'm wondering, is this going to be a single camera sitcom? Is this going to be a multi camera sitcom? Uh, how exactly are they going to pull this off? And if you want my honest take on it, I don't think a single camera is the way to go about this. I feel a three camera comedy, uh, a three camera shoot is going to basically be uh, what will probably work best. Uh, for this type of show. And I know that, that that people are moving away from that. ABC only shoots uh, single camera comedies. Fox only does single camera comedies. Uh, the last multi-camera shoot that uh, ABC had was in fact uh, Last Man Standing, uh, which has now been canceled. I know that NBC is doing a revival of Will and Grace, but I don't know if that's going to go back to being three cameras or if that's going to be a, a, a single camera. Uh, I haven't seen anything from it yet, but I, I would argue that that a three camera sitcom uh, is probably going to give it the best aesthetic look going forward. But in the meantime, I'm also uh, cautiously optimistic. I want to like it. I just also have to know a lot more about it. But what do you guys think? Are you down for a Seth Meyers produced reboot of, of the monsters? 
Or are you sick and tired of these shows being revived and it's just time to move on and create new content because rebooting old content isn't really working much anymore? You know, in some respects, maybe, right? Twin Peaks is back. People like Twin Peaks. Weird show that's probably not going to get another season uh, because David Lynch is like, yeah. You know, I mean, we have other shows that have that have come back, sure. Uh, but, you know, those have always been kind of continuations of the original. This is a wholly, whole new reboot. I mean, CBS just killed off uh, two, uh, was it, the, um, the, oh, God damn it, The Odd Couple. They just killed off The Odd Couple after a couple seasons. So it's like these kind of shows don't necessarily last. But again, your thoughts, curious to know, let me know in the comments below. My name is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.